so <coughs> in the last class we looked at the complete station of the hard start where the CPU get the reset of 1.05 volts which goes to the reset in pin of the I CPU and the CPU once the CPU gets the supply and it gets the clock and the reset then it will initialize the soft start now in the dual core baseboards we the key signal that we're going to check from the CPU is the ADS hash signal coming from the CPU right which is known as the address strobe or the address data strobe signal which goes to the GMCH but in this board of a PCH of the Intel series 5 IBEX peak the CPU which is integrated with the Arundel which has the CPU plus the GMCH inside as you can see right so therefore there is no ADS hash signal that we're going to check in this platform right this architecture of the Arundel CPU because it already integrate the GMCH so it is integrated so there is no way to check ADS hash signal right ADS hash signal is then done already performed inside the CPU and we can't check so there's no check point to check for adjust data strobe signal which is the key signal that is released from the CPU indicating that the CPU has start to work right no ADS hash can check in this section so if we go to page 6 of the CPU and we looked at some of the pages as you can see page 6 7 8 9 and 10 let's go to page 6 first alright we'll go to page 6 alright as you can see we have the miscellaneous we have the thermal we have the power management we already looked at in the last class set of classes the JTAG and the DDR3 miscellaneous right so this is another part if we go to the next part page 6 7 8 9 and 10 we have the DMI bus which we're gonna get to shortly right the DMI bus is there and the FDI bus also right which is the flexible display interface we're gonna look at these also right this is all soft start to process right and the memory controller which is for the memory which which con which has that like, the row address strobe the column address strobe dq0 to dq63 see dq0 to dq63 right so these are the data bus the data for the ram right and we have ras cas and we which is very important right same for B, if it's channel A and this is channel B, right? And the power supply section. So you see, as you can see, there is no, and this is the last page, which is the ground spin. So there is no ADS hash. We can't check it because, as I said, it's already integrated, and we don't have the host ready signal, the target ready signal. All are already integrated inside of the CPU because it has the GMCH inside, right? PCI Express as you can see this board does not support the PCI Express external graphic card because you can see as you can see PCI Express is not used so all the data signal is transferred through the FDI flexible display interface which is coming from CPU to the PCH right and it's a 4 bit connection 4 bit all right let's go back to page 2 all right as you can see it's a 4 bit DMI is 4 bit for a bit so there's a FDI controller inside of the PCH and inside of the GMCH right so in for the DMI the DMI also has the GMCH also have the DMI bus, um, bus con um, section inside same for the PCH and the PCH remember the, the GMC in the Arundel CPU are the, P are the PCH architecture is that the CPU has some parts of GMCH in um, North Ridge in it and the remaining of the North Ridge is inside of the PCH so that's why I said you can call the PCH sometimes the North or the South Bridge right which has integrated some of the functionality of the PCH right of the ICH and some functionality of the GMCH right so the CPU so there's no ADS hash as I said before so it's already integrated so the only key signal you're going to check for which is you're going to check the DMI bus and the FDI bus so the DMI bus consists of the same 16 wires see 4 bit 8 each of 4 bit 0 to 3 negative positive 0 to 3 receiving right RX means receiving and TX means transmitting so this how many wires is this again 16, 16 wires so 16 wires which is coming over from ICH it's the same for the PCH 
right 16 wires which is communicating with the GMCH inside of the CPU of the Arandale CPU and the FDI which is different as you can see so this one right you have 0 to 7 that's that's 0 to 7 bit right 8 bit 0 8 bit right 0 to 7 that's 8 bit right another 8 0 to 7 that's receiving right we have we have RX right we have CTX PRX negative and P which is positive right and as you can see it is a 8 bit connection which has a total here so 8 and 8 which is also 16 right and we have the synchronization negative so you see FDI sync 0 1 2 bit right and 0 and 1 S right F L right FDI right these are not really necessary but you can check them but these are the main ones right negative and positive so you can check this with oscilloscope these signals can only be checked with oscilloscope and you see the pulses that is generated when the soft start is initialized then you can know that the CPU has started to work right and this PCH is already getting the initialized state right and <coughs> remember the bootstraps we're going to look for for the bootstraps for the, to know where the CPU is going to search. Remember, when the CPU get the reset signal, it's going to start the search for the what? What's the main aim of the CPU to get reset? Once the CPU get reset, what's it going to start search for? BIOS. The BIOS. So the first address in the BIOS that the CPU needs, which is hard coded, as I said, which is embedded inside of the CPU, it's going to look for that first address, right? FFF0H, which is coming from the um the GMCH dual core baseboards. Once it get that first it's going to start to search for that first signal and, and I'll also show you how to use the bootstraps table using the SPI ROM on PCH which is equal to 4M ME code plus the system BIOS right so this is where the bootstraps is going to start and it's see close to PCH so this this BIOS is close to the PCH as you can see is that so, a, is that a, is that no, this board doesn't carry ME region. It says that ME code, meaning that it, 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 the, the active management technology, if it's there, then it would initialize it. Remember, VCC ME ties with 1.05 volt, right? Remember, VCC ME, let's go back. Let's go back to the IPCH page. Let's go back to the PCH page, power management page 13, right? Remember, VCC SLP M, see? SLPM can be left and not connected when I Intel Active Technology is not supported on the platform. Mm. So this SLPM has an X, meaning that it does not support mm. the, in the ME region and therefore the LAN is also not used. Because if it supports ME region, it would have an Intel LAN inside, right? So if not using integrated LAN signal may be left as not connected because it doesn't support the active Intel active management technology, right? So if we go back to VC, if we look for the signal VCC ME, right? Let's go, let's go down a bit. VCC ME, let's look for that signal, right? VCC ME. See, VCCM is tied to 1.05 volt. If this board support Intel Active Management Technology, it would have 3.3 volts before the trigger. You get that? VCCME will now have the same timing with SLPS3 if it doesn't support the Intel Active Management Technology, right? So VCCME.